What's up, what's up, what's up, my boobiful people? We are back with a banger, and this is definitely an episode you do not want to miss. We are discussing the importance of solo play. That's right, y'all. Y'all homework assignment of the day is to simply masturbate. So go on and grab your boobs, and let's get to it. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to edit and record your podcast right from your computer or your phone. Anchor will even distribute your podcast for you so you can hear it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, all that. You can even make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership required. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get started. This episode is brought to you by House of Boobs, where we sell everything boob except your bra. Your one-stop shop for all your boob accessories. Be sure to visit us at www.houseofboobs.com. That's H-A-U-S-O-F-B-O-O-B-S dot com. Welcome to people. We gotta welcome the people to to the official episode eight of season two. This is true. That's yes, right. it's true. It's true. And if you are happening to be joining us for the first time, I am the one and only Boo Blogger Bay, formerly known as Jay Marie. And as always, I got my sissy KB with me. What's up, Damn. sissy? What's up? What's up? I'm in this thing. In this thing. Uh, you are <laughs> tuning in to Boopsionary. What's up, y'all? <laughs> What's been going on? I know what. Man, listen. So my vagina event this week, yo. So much is going on this year. Like, I just right. feel like people are so excited to be back outside. Uh, I mean, this month. Yeah? Yes. Oh, girl, yeah. Are you crazy? This spring and this summer, anytime it's any kind of hot, I'm telling you now, motherfuckers about to act up. Be yes. For all my people who do not like people, you might as well get ready. Get for used it. to it, yes, because like you, you can get used to it, and you better stay in the crib because that's it. Everybody yes. going out, they showing out. I want you exactly, to and I love it. I love it. it. The the energy is creating, like yeah, like but I, and I want good vibes. Like I want everybody to be on some chill shit. Like yes, chill ass summer. Like like let's get hippie without the ex because you know it's still some violence. You know what I'm saying? But no, mm-hmm. like the violence part. It's just. Shit. Right, like leave the violence at home. Like we've been isolated long enough. Like leave the violence at home, y'all. Like for real. Uh, like let's just have a nice, chill summer full of events and people getting out the house. Glad to be alive. Glad to have survived through a pandemic because we've been locked away, feeling like we've been a cage to our <laughs> own mind. Okay. For real, Ayo, it's not funny because I get it, but it'd be so. Like when you write it down and when it's documented, it's like as everyone in the world was locked away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, like, like people, when like, you really <laughs> stop to think about what you just went through, it's way bigger than what you assume. You know yeah. what I mean? Or what you really think it is. Like, the entire world, not just you, not just your mm-hmm. country, the entire world was shut down. Um, right. Everybody was Everybody going through the same that. thing at the same time but for that, once. You want to know what's so funny? Is that people always say, oh, I don't have the time. We can't stop. There's no way. Bro, everybody hit pause. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. So exactly. Maybe somebody say they can't. This is like, well, remember that one time when we had did what we had did? Exactly. <laughs> and everybody said they couldn't, but they did it. And then when yeah, we look like, back, we was all happy we did it. Yeah, we yeah, made like, it through. It's been a long time. But, you know, you still pause. You say, hold up. Bye. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I guess we could go ahead and take a day or three off. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, 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 right. right. Like, go home all of us couldn't afford it. <laughs> and exactly. Then, uh, but yeah, girl. Anywho, this. Yes, but anywho, I I do love the energy is creating. 
I love that um, even, you know, small areas like my city. That, huh? Oh, no, nah, Brown is over here vibing to going out to showing out. My bad. You know what? I could not. <laughs> That's got to be the thing. Mm-hmm. That's got to be it. I mean, but it is. Once you go out, you show out. Matter of fact, that's about to be our hashtag for the whole summer. We got to hold You go out, you show out. Show us something. Like, for real, for real. Like, all jokes aside, because, (laughs) like I said, I'm not trying to sit in this house all summer this year. Like, granted, I'm still going to be safe because I'm not trying to get sick. I'm not trying to lose my life. At the same time, I'm just not trying to sit at home. I'm going to be out and I'm going to be about. And I love the atmosphere. Everything's created. I like that everybody's having a calendar full of events like i'm all i'm game let's go no i keep meeting people who mm-hmm. are so fucking open-minded and spiritual and awesome and i'm loving this journey i'm on that's Ooh, but you know why you're meeting those game. people now oh, because you've okay. become one of those people oh, tell, oh, and so oh. now you're attracting what you have now become bro when i say i f with it girl like bro f with it's like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> like, any <anywho. laughs> <laughs> But it's a good feeling, though, when you finally yeah, start to good. attract the people that you, you know, you, you really want oh. to gravitate towards. It, it's an amazing yeah. feeling. Ain't it, though? Come on now. I'm for real. You feel, <laughs> no. you feel at peace because you found your, your crew. You know, you found your like minded people. That's it. And it's, and it's so dope because, like, like, no, like, for real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, because now, because, mm, damn, I'm stumbling over my words. Nah, for real. <laughs> like, it's really a dope feeling. Like, mm-hmm. it's like some of those things that you questioned before. You're like, oh, wait, hold up, hold up. So I'm not loco, like. Right. Oh, oh why? Right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And right. be like, hey, so you remember that one time we did that one spell? And, or that one uh, manifestation tip or whatever you, you so you did mm-hmm. it too? And that, Oh, okay, so I'm not tripping. So exactly. People who don't believe in it, or they got something to say about it. It's like negative. You like, bro. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> yes, you do start that. to second guess your own values and your own beliefs when you are around people that disagree or don't see eye to eye, you know, with the same uh, or align with the same visions as you. You do start to doubt what you believe because you're losing a sense of self the more and more, you know, you listen to what somebody else has to say. And meeting people that, you know, think like you think or experience things that you experience, you feel at home. You feel at peace. You don't feel like you're you're the eyeball anymore because nobody ever is. Like, granted, you may be the first person to experience something in a certain way, but you're not the first person to ever experience it. You know, somebody else always down the line that you can find or that you can research and go through and read their experience to know that you ain't alone. Yeah, and I see, and that's the that's the good part. That is literally the good part. And by the way, so I haven't been on Facebook in like forever, right? Mm-hmm. Like, so all of a sudden, <laughs> I've been getting a lot of like, I don't know how. So it started with my little cousin, and okay. then you sissy, and then other people, like people that I fuck with, mm-hmm. <laughs> you right? Know what I'm They'll start inviting me to groups, and I'm like, what is this random ass group? You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> But it's the most randomest groups, but they're so dope. Like, like, what's the one that I really love? And that's crazy that I'm getting like uh, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's for uh-huh. black women. That's a group. That is freaking awesome. Oh, you I need to join that one. I love Trader Joe's. Oh, baby, I will invite you. Because okay. they'll sit there and drop like little recipes and like, hey, I tried this. What y'all think? Or, hey, what you this? And then in fact, you start to learn that in some places, like some Trader Joe's, has like an alcohol section. Other yeah. Trader Joe's don't. Uh-huh. And then you wouldn't, you would have never thunk it because now you got people saying, oh, go to the wine section, get this one. This one is $4. It's going to get you lit and you will not wake up with a hangover. Get your thing. And oh, I, see, I like little sips like that. You see what I'm saying? That's so, what I need in my life. But girl, it's like Facebook groups for everything. So like you said, yes. it's like my people is mm-hmm. dope. But then not even just that. It's not even like, second guessing and like it's always good to have that community you know what I mean but like yes the energy it takes to remain positive mm-hmm. <laughs> when you feel like you're constantly like berated with negativity you're like Bro, right <laughs> I'm burnt out because by the time you get through x amount of hours throughout the day you literally have you have to sleep mm-hmm. like, yeah oh your body's gonna shut down regardless <laughs> like so, whether you want to or not your body gonna be like blue 
But, uh, but anyway, but yeah, child, being at this place is different because, you know, I'm not saying I'm slap happy or anything like that. However, it's a different level of peace. Like, oh, okay, some shit happened. Mm-hmm. Woo, sa, namaste, you know, get your shit on, have a better day. You know right. What I mean? <laughs> yeah. thing, you, know, you what you're you, what you're not doing is taking everything personal anymore. You're learning oh, that wow. some things you don't have to internalize. Some you know everything's not meant to be internalized. You're just yeah. now experiencing it and moving on with it. And that's, that's it. exactly and you, what it is. That's the best way to put it. I'm just experiencing it. Let it mm-hmm. happen. Roll off my shoulders. I right, what's going on? What's the next part? We exactly. <laughs> that's exactly okay. what it is. But you know, speaking of getting reaching new heights, and I guess I we can say achieving new new milestones in your life, you know, we're gonna go into this good boob news report because we got yet again some good news that black women are doing in the community. You know, some achievements in our community from our own people. Okay. You know, okay. we we can go and tell the people about that. Okay. But no, shouts out to 21-year-old Shikari Richardson. She (laughs) became the sixth fastest woman in the world at 21. The sixth. At 21, bro. Like, what I tell you, this generation just is like, ain't no ceiling. (laughs) Yeah, like... I love it. I it love just it. hit different. Like, we was I'm just like, oh, what? Now. Yeah, right. I like, what's on Facebook? Like, because um, at first of all, when The Walking Dead pop up, I need her on my team. Okay. okay. I'm Listen. I'm <laughs> Listen. I need all, all the people. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, let's, let's give her her flowers. Because no, she, started, sure. she started making her claim to fame okay. as a sprinter for... LSU for Louisiana State University. And back in 2019, she earned two junior world records, one for the 100 meter dash, which Mm -hmm. she did, or which I can say she's ran in 10.99 seconds, and also for the 200 meter dash, which she ran in 22.37 seconds. So that was in 2019. Now, Shorty said, yo, I ain't done. This ain't just for play play. And she came back after graduation and landed an endorsement deal with Nike. And that's when she also acquired the title of the sixth fastest woman in the world by breaking the 100-meter dash record by 10.72 seconds in her recent meet in Florida. Like... Uh, Bro, smacking them. Right? (laughs) They are doing great. Yo, shout out to everyone. Okay. I fuck with it. The definition so of brother. gave you your ass and handed it to you. Yeah, seven times. Okay. At least seven of them. Okay. <laughs> Pronto. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Can't bro. argue with that, though, at all. At Back all. when I had doing a dang thing. Bro, like, they're so magical. You know I, mean? I know. Like, they never cease to amaze me, except for every time when I'm amazed. Shut the fuck. <laughs> I can't stand black people in America. <laughs> oh, my oh my God. You know? <laughs> you know what? Yes, we gotta we we just gonna we just gonna jump into the next next good oh, boot I, news I, report. Oh, I. Cause cause I, I don't even know. Ooh, you know. Like a bunny jump or like a kangaroo jump? Mm, I'ma say kangaroo jump because this one's a big one. Oh, snap. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say kangaroo jump because we, we got to touch on, I want to say the name is Carol Horn, but the oh. way it's spelled, it might be Carol Horn. Mm. Don't judge me. I'm just, you know, mm-hmm, the messenger. <laughs> However, we got to give a major shout out to this former black police officer for winning a wrongful termination case. Now, the reason why I chose to point this story out right now and why it's so significant is because she was terminated for intervening when a mm. officer, when a white officer placed a handcuffed suspect in a chokehold. Mm. She was the officer that intervened and said, hey, yo, what you doing? This ain't it. I'm not about to stand here and just watch you, you know, murder somebody who's handcuffed. They're not presenting a threat to you. And they fired her because of that. Oh, wow. 
back in no, 2000. Yeah, this, he, this happened back in 2006. That's crazy she was fighting that long. Yes. That's crazy, that's yes. crazy that it happened. And it's even crazy that it's, happened. it's like going, it's going on for that long. Right, exactly. And then to, to think about where we've come from 2006 to now or to present with, you know, the police force as a whole in America, mm-hmm. like, yo, she spoke up. She said something. That person's still alive. That person's still breathing. And y'all chose to fire her because of that? Right. Oh, right. okay. That's the game y'all playing. Exactly. All right. And so to make it even worse, or to make matters even worse, she was only a year from retirement, basically, from the police force. In order to receive your pension, basically, you have to have 20, 20 years, years in the game. Right? Dang. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you so got to have 20 years, years in. And she told y'all to chill out, and y'all decided to, oh, I. Right. Yeah, she was 19 <laughs> years in. 19 <laughs> years in. And this happened, and they fired her. And because they fired her, she wasn't able to get her pension because she had not reached that 20th year. So they fired her without any more pay, without any pension. Like, Shorty was just out back. No job, no money, no nothing. So she was on the struggle bus, like legit. Had a job, had a pension one day, went to work, said, no, don't kill this man. (laughs) Then next thing you know, she out back with nothing. That's that's, Mm. that's how they treated her. So she took it to court. Come on. She took it to court. She took it to court. And it was finally decided that she's going to get the back pay plus the pension, bro. That's what's up. Plus the pension. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Like, I get it at the end of the day. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me make sure. Back pay for as long as this case has been out? Yeah, well, that's the that's what the pension's going to cover because technically she was only missing one year of back pay. And then right. from that one year on, because she was set to retire, she'll get the pension from that point on. So from, mm, gotcha, gotcha. I guess you would say 2007 on until now, she's going to get back pay from her pension. So she's going to get a <laughs> very nice, up. lovely settlement. That's what's up. Okay. I was about to say, nothing can make up for the time spent. Then, you know. Nah, you're legit, <laughs> though. That energy. is a long time. Money ain't don't make up for your time. Yes. Like, you can't buy time back. <laughs> exactly. And you don't know what no. that lady been through in the process because, you okay. know, she had kids. Like, it won't like she was just out here in these streets and it's just her, you know what I mean? It's just something she do for fun. No, this was her livelihood. This was something she put legit time into. And y'all went and cut Shorty Slam off with nothing. It was like, just go home. Because she decided to save a life. Like, nah. Well, shout out to her, man. Big ups, like, for real. Stand up. I know right. it's a long time, but I'm glad she got her, uh, her exactly. just as big. Is that, is that the way we'll say it? Yeah. Exactly. I'm just glad. <laughs> I'm glad. You she know, everything that. happens for a reason because look at look at the timing of the case. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Look at the timing that it was decided. Like, this could have been decided any time between now and 2006, you know what I mean, when the ex- incident actually happened, but it had decided to be this particular time that it was decided. You know, so I'm happy for you. I am. Shout out to her. For sure, right? for sure. That was a major <laughs> key. Major key. <laughs> at, least she, at least she had a good outcome on that one. That's yes, so absolutely. Absolutely. And the person's still alive to tell a story. You did. Okay, <laughs> that don't okay. happen too often, but you know it's 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 getting a little hot outside, and you know we didn't we done been dropping some hints for the summer to help the ladies out with hygiene and whatever for feminine <laughs> favor. But now that we done got your hygiene together, we gotta drop the tips on where you can get the hottest summer gear, like your swimwear. Like that is the hardest thing to shop for, coming from a big boob, big breast. Big body woman, whatever you want to call it, mm-hmm. that is the hardest thing to shop for in the summertime. Is a swimsuit. <laughs> like I feel it. like it's like searching for a needle in a haystack because if you find one good bathing suit or swimsuit and it fit good, you only find that one, and it's like you gotta cherish it. But it's not gonna fit you the same next summer, so you gotta start mm-hmm. that search all over again. So we we, and we not even just that. It's always it well not always, but. I know for more bigger on my plus side, you know, mm-hmm. my thick chicks, you know what I'm saying? It's always so cool. Yes. <laughs> like, they be having these basic ass clothes, like, 
I ain't gonna shout out no names, you know what I'm saying? But they always have the dumbest of like swimwear for bigger women. Like we don't want to be sexy or something. You know what I'm saying? Like yes. it's always like this basic ugly color. Like, the designs I mean, and the patterns are ugly. Yes, it's just it's just yeah. lame. It's just, what the fuck? It's not attractive to the eye. Not at all. Like, like at all. So it's not appealing in the least bit. Yes, yeah, I will agree like, to am that. Am I am I ashamed of swimming, my nigga? Like the fuck? Out right. Here? Like, I'm supposed to be ashamed of my body or something. So you yeah. make this ugly fabric and expect me to pay, you know, tons of dollars for it. And I was about to say, it's always fabric. extra. Yes. Like, so it's like, you'll see, and it's so funny because you'll go to the, the more petite racks or whatever, and you'll see like, it's ten dollars for this cute mm-hmm. ass little p- bikini set. And I'm like, oh word! All right, well, well, check out plus that. What you just talking about? Exactly. And it's like this one, one piece, all black, netted up little ugly thing, and already got some little. Yes, ugly that droop with it. down. Don't compliment <laughs> your frame and make you look way bigger than what you are. Yeah. Yes, and then they have the audacity like thirty five dollars, bitch. For yes, guys. for what, <laughs> what bro? For what? <laughs> <laughs> nah, anywho. So, any hoosers, I was fucking few because, like I said, show out. Okay, we're going out, we showing out. So, okay. I have definitely been hitting the internet, my online shopping. That is my my therapy. No fucks are given. <laughs> okay. It has so I've been every, I at, think it's a little bit of everybody's thing now, for real. <laughs> I stay on online shopping. Talk about it. But, like, so this website, Sheen, S H E I N, right? Mm-hmm. I have, I'm checking it out. This is my first time purchasing some swimwear from them. So mm-hmm. I will keep you guys updated, but I'm going to check it out. They have some really... But the thing that made me go to it... So first of all, like I said, there's a Facebook group for everything. Right. And I'm in the same group, Facebook group. And um, this this very beautiful, thick, curvy baby, mm-hmm. <laughs> she got on this really cute-ass fucking two-piece. Okay. And I'm like, oh, shit. Then I flipped, and she had this cute-ass tankini. I'm like, wait a minute, because baby girl had booty, arms, belly, all of that was beautiful, okay? Mm-hmm. Beautiful, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. curvy. And I'm like, where the fuck is she getting this shit from? So, anywho, guys, it's from Shane. I'm going to check it what? out. <laughs> she definitely made me go in here. I just got to feel about ordering from them. However, I have seen some ladies on TikTok killing these swimsuit hauls from Shein. I'm telling you. Like... I you. might have to join you yeah. and order from them because it it from the from what I've been hearing, you can mm-hmm. have a mini shopping spree without breaking the bank. And I'm all for a budget. Mm-hmm. Like I'm for real, I'm all for a budget shop. Yeah, like for sure. Like I can have twelve things in my rack, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm, and I'm not even breaking one hundred and fifty. And it's like, I right, that's yeah. a bargain. We talking about Hell swimwear. Yeah. What what do we just say? You probably not gonna fit it next year anyway. Mm-hmm. How many? And it's cute to have a whole bunch of different ones. Who the fuck cares? Go get the goddamn baby. <laughs> exactly. Suit. All right. So anywho, very very fucking cute. When I say cute, you guys, I'm talking about bikinis. You got like the little surfer kind of ones or whatever, mm-hmm. which I can understand because some people have sensitive skin, so you can't be directly in the sun. I shit, maybe you just yeah. surf. I don't know, my god, like whatever the fuck you into. Either way. I'm on that shit. I ordered that shit. I, I even have another part as a backup because if the first batch is good, baby, okay, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going I back I got again. my wish list in the backup. <laughs> yes. So I am ready. You definitely got to keep us up to date on the Sheen. What is it? Sheen? Or is it Sheen? 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 I don't know it's how to Sheen. say it. Either way, you got to keep us up to date. Now, you know what's so funny? Whatever. I've been calling it Sheen for years. Now, if it is Sheen, your girl never even knew it. Uh, but I think it's Sheen, bro. Okay, well, that's what we're going to go with. We're going to call it Sheen. Either way, keep us up to date and definitely do a swimsuit haul because I want to see that. But, you know, I have ordered from because I have a couple of trips coming up this summer and I cannot fit or find, for shall I say, anything from last year swimsuit-wise because you got to remember, we skipped a whole calendar year on summers because I don't even remember what we did to summer 2020. But my whole birthday was gone. Listen. <laughs> like, what is the birthday? Right, exactly. I need to redo. <laughs> like we are legit hitting reset. So this summer is, yeah. is a whole new is a whole new beginning. So I've been looking on Icon Swim. Oh. Now they have legit. Now they look pricey. I'm not gonna say they're as cheap as Sheen, but mm-hmm. they have some nice patterns. Like mm-hmm. I mean, some really cute stuff. And it's it's gonna run you maybe I'll say about twenty to forty bucks, depending on what you order. Mm-hmm. But 
they have cute sets. So, like, if you see the cover up and the two piece, you get all three pieces. Nice. So, you know, it's it's kind of worth the splurge if you're planning for like a special trip, you know, to the beach or something like that. I would definitely venture out and check out Icon Swim. All right. So, so did you already order from Icon? Yeah, I see. I've ordered from Icon Swim last year, but we ain't going nowhere. Before the okay. pandemic, like prior to, I want to say the shutdown, I had just ordered something from them. However, I can't find it now, so we're going we're gonna to reorder. Um, All right, so perfect. We're going to check it out. Icon, right? Mm-hmm. It's, called, it's more costly. However, it's still some good material, good patterns, cute shit. Mm-hmm. I'm ordering from Sheen. Not as costly. I'm saying that it's something different, something cute, some funky patterns, definitely for the bigger sizes and bigger boobs. We're definitely going to do like these little haul things that you're talking about. Yes, yes, <laughs> so a we swimsuit really, haul. Really give a review because I have a I have a couple of trips coming up as well, so I want to see how it holds up, like on the mm-hmm. beach, while you playing around and all this other stuff. And baby, if my shame don't leave me naked, I'm definitely going to have a shame. But then yes. I'm going to check out icons. So I want to check out their cute shit. Absolutely. Like, and now please know that there's tons more out there. I am in the works of putting together like smaller businesses that we can shop for that are friendly for bigger bodies and boobs. So All just right. be on the lookout on the IG channel. If you're not following Boobsionary, definitely follow us because I'm going to be dropping that one of these Titty Tuesdays coming up soon. Okay? So y'all definitely yeah. stay tuned for that. All right, now... <laughs> so I got to tell you, for relations and situations today, right? Mm-hmm. It's a little different, just a tad bit different. Because instead of a listener letter, we actually got a listener question today, okay? Okay. Oh, so, shit. right, right. Somebody decided to switch it up on us, okay? So right. they asked us, do you prefer love or loyalty in a relationship? Mm-hmm. And now that threw me off a little bit because you mm-hmm. know me, I'm automatically like, I want love. I want love. Of course I want love. And I, I still stand by that. But I did take the time to at least define the difference so that I could make sure I answered this question, you know, to the best of my ability with correct knowledge. Okay. So mm-hmm. as defined by the Dic- Webster's Dictionary, For love, the definition is an intense feeling of deep affection. Mm -hmm. And now the definition of loyalty is giving or showing firm and constant support or allegiance to a person or institution. Mm. So again, do you prefer love or loyalty in a relationship? I mean, I guess... For a motherfucker like me, it's really, really difficult for me to separate the two. It's really difficult because if I love you, then why would I not be loyal to you? That's where I was at with it. We were along the same exact lines. (laughs) You feel me? But then at the same time, I can be loyal to you and not love you. I can just Mm -hmm. know that, yo, this motherfucker don't have my back. So if something pop up and they call me, what's up? I'm a ride. I don't gotta love you for that. However, right. loyalty is showing a, ty- a type of love, in my opinion. Like, it does. I, that I, love, I got love for you type mm-hmm, thing. You know? mm-hmm. So, again, I can't, I'm trying to, to pull them apart, but it's hard. However, I do know how some people can pull it apart. And this is the funny thing about the way my brain works. Mm-hmm. I know that me, myself, emotionally, it's hard for me to pull it apart. However, mm-hmm. I do see the logic and how people can. So, here we go. Right. I can exactly. be loyal to you, like I just said, and I love you. Like, you exactly. have those who are loyal to the cause, mm-hmm. and they don't give a fuck about their commander or whoever. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's the loyalty. greater good for them. Right. Exactly. So mm-hmm. then you have love where let's just go straight to relationships since we are in relationship and situation. Literally fucking elite, I can love you, mm-hmm. <laughs> but then you're always going to have a cheater. So how loyal are you? Like you're constantly cheating, yeah. you're constantly lying, you're constantly Okay, doing so see, whatever. that's where the question came from, I guess. Or so, okay, so it, it stems from something that 21 Savage said. He said that if I love you, I still may hurt you. But if I'm loyal to you, I know I'm not going to hurt you. And that's real. Because again, 
a soldier, I can't hurt my commanding officer or anything mm-hmm. else like that. Like I cannot, if let's say I have a, uh, hmm, it's for me, loyalty without love, if it's not that, if it's mm-hmm. not relationship wise, then it is something more business wise. Like mm-hmm. even if you're going business or like I keep saying, like a soldier type situation. Right. Like an employee <laughs> to an employer type exactly. situation. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I guess you- like, I don't love you, my nigga. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't make them break your heart. I won't. There's no expectations of me except to be loyal. And that's what you have. You have my loyalty. Mm-hmm. You know, that damn well, you pick up the phone. I'm going to be that reliable, whatever, or I'm loyal, or whatever, however you want to put it. Maybe I'm mixing the two and I'm not trying to. But, but yeah, for sure. Like, I you know, I loyal. definitely get it. And <laughs> yeah, like, I can be loyal to you, but I'm not, you don't have any high expectations. When it comes right. to the matters of the heart, when it comes to loyalty. With yeah, love, like that risk is not the there. Heart. Like you exactly. remove the risk factor when you when you're talking about just loyalty and not love. And it's like I don't have to take that. I don't put myself on the line, basically, if I'm just wanting loyalty. You know what I mean? Like I'm not putting me out there to get hurt. I'm basically just saying, hey, I want you to do what I do, what I say do and stick by my side. But no, no, you know what I mean? No other emotions okay. will be involved in that, I guess. But with you know love, I mean? it comes mm-hmm. natural. You know what I mean? Mm. It's part of the package. Is it, though? Is it, though? Because think about it. Sometimes love don't come naturally. Sometimes you grow to love somebody. You be like, I don't know this motherfucker. Fuck yeah. And then you end up growing to love that motherfucker. Like, it's just like something, I don't know, all of a sudden your heart just boom. And it's like, oh, shit. I, I mean, you do have to grow to love certain people and you have to grow to love certain <laughs> people the way they like to be loved. So I definitely agree there. But yeah. like, I feel like if the person you are with or w- the person that wants that love from you, if part of that is loyalty, then you should be giving that. You know what I mean? But I think if you're talking just loyalty, loyalty also can be seen as like a contract. If you think oh, about absolutely. It like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's just like, yeah, like an alliance type thing. So, yeah, again, I mean, sure, you yeah. loyalty and BDSM all day in the kink life. I mean, that's it. You know, without the love factor to it, sometimes love does come with it. But yeah, you can have loyalty. Now, granted, yeah, like I said, granted, you can have both without each other. Mm-hmm. But I think the main difference is the <clears> risk <throat> factor because with love, you take a risk. You know, you do set yeah. yourself up to possibly be hurt in the long run. And with loyalty, there is no room for hurt because, you know, there's no emotion in it. Mm, that's you real. You just are acting. That's real. Dang, that's mm. crazy. That was a good question, man. That was a yeah, good it was for my listener. I'm still thinking because I'm like, hmm, okay, okay, listener. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that was a good one, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, you know, I, 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 yeah, I had to throw that one out there. I was like, let me, let me pull something new, something different. You, you know, we might have to do that, a question or a letter, every other show or something. I don't know, because that was deep. We like that. That was. I did like that. Dang, I'm still thinking about it, both. Okay. Like, penetrated the <laughs> mind a little bit. <laughs> oh, and I do love my mind penetrated. Oh, my God. Yes. Okay. <laughs> penetrated and stimulated. Can't Come argue on with now. that. Ugh, hallelujah. Now, and since we are along the lines of penetration and stimulation, let's get into the let's you know, talk topic of the day. Is it masturbation? Hey, it's the you importance know. of masturbation. And you know. okay, so you know, I do want to I do want to distinguish and, and and separate. You know, that a little later on in a later season, we're really going to get into the how-tos of masturbation, like what you should be Ooh. exploring and what you should be paying attention to in your body while you're doing it and, you know, those types of things. But today, we want to get into why it's so important to your sex life or why you need masturbation or why you should really be doing it, regardless of whether you're single whether you're partnered, whether you're coupled, it's Hmm. still something that should be a regular part of your happy and natural, healthy sex life. I have a question for you. Yes. Okay. So I understand that we're about to deep dive into the importance of it. But Mm -hmm. when you say the importance of it, is it for everyone or is Mm -hmm. it just for the sexually active or the ones who actually like think about sex? Because I know I have people in my life who... They're good about not having sex, not thinking mm-hmm. about sex. They don't want sex, or they never even had sex before. 
So are they still one of the ones who, like, it's important for them to tune in to understand the importance of masturbation? Oh, yes, absolutely. Because okay. even though you're reframing from it or you may choose to not engage in sex or sexual acts of you right now, at some point you're going to, and you still want to understand you in that mm-hmm. dynamic. And so that's what today is about. It's like, it's like explaining the importance of masturbation in your individual sex life. So it's it's not really, I'm not actually having sex with anybody else, so I don't need to masturbate. Or, and, or because I'm not having sex right now, all I can do is masturbate, but that's the only reason I'm doing it. Like, no. Like, masturbation is the foundation to a great sex life, to a healthy sex life. You know, and I say it all the time. I stand behind it. Because it teaches you, you know, your pleasure points. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, there's more than just the G spot. There's more than just the A spot. You know, you got your C spot, your P spot. You know, you got all these different spots. But if I'm if I'm having intercourse with you and I'm trying to please you and you don't know where your own spots are, how are you going to help me find them? Mm. And so that's what masturbation is for. Yeah, that is great. You know, like you you have to take that time to explore you and explore your own body in order to communicate that effectively to the next person. Mm -hmm. And it's just like an exam. Like you can't go in there and sit down for a test and be like, oh, well, I ain't study. And expect to know the answers. (laughs) I mean, it's the same thing. So like masturbation (laughs) is like your study session for the test. Yeah, true. Like, for everybody. It doesn't matter if you're reframing from sex right now, if you're having sex right now. Like, even in relationships, it's just as equally important. And, like, I I think I've mentioned on one show before how I was in a relationship at one time and the person I was with at that point did not agree with masturbation and they thought it was a negative thing and that it was taken away from the sex life we were were developing as a couple. And I was just like, nah, sweetheart, mm mm-mm. Mm-mm, that ain't, ain't both. Be, for sure. Because mm-hmm. like, um, I know if I'm first of all, I'm <laughs> I'm highly sexual any goddamn way. Like I'm ready to do. You blow like the wind can blow too hard, and I'm ready. You know what I mean? Okay. So, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> if I'm not dicking, but I'm chilling, I'm being, I'm, I'm flicking my bean, if right. you will. By the time you slide through, and I do mean slide through, like. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like we in that thing, like that is even more intense because it's almost like a, it's almost like an appetite. Yes, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like, so like, <laughs> yes, that that it's like the 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 it's almost like a a, a personal foreplay. Oh, for sure. If you if you will, like yes, it's, it's like a personal session to get you going. You know, before the big, you know, before the big event, and even if ain't nobody else coming through, and it's just you, like you are your own big event. Because at the end of the day, you should be your own best lover. Like, mm-hmm. I'm going to take me to new heights first so that when I am in the room or in the moment or in the sack with somebody else, I know exactly what's going to get me there. So I won't be sitting there at the end of the day saying I won't satisfy. And now I'm going home and I'm like, yo, that other person had the time of their life and I'm sitting here and I still ain't get mine. Like, no, I knew what to do. So I got mine too. Mm. I fuck with it. You got to. However, I do need mm-hmm. you to know that I had plenty of tests that I didn't study for and I aced that. So I'm just kidding. I mean, I ain't saying it ain't happening, like in the <laughs> literal sense. Like, yes, but like, I mean, because. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about what you're talking about too. You know what I'm talking no, about? No, I'm, I'm, I'm for real because, <laughs> I mean, I just. I'm just learning this now, like as the person I am now, but I've been having sex. You get what I'm saying? Like, uh, it's yeah, not yeah, like yeah, you're sure. going to. You're going to fail at it. Like, no, you know it. You know how to have sex, hopefully. You just don't know how to have it, you know, with the intent of gaining more pleasure out of it, you know, or proper sex. Because sometimes, shoot, I can honestly admit what I know now compared to what I started with, like, Mm knowledge-wise, oh, I won't do nothing. Oh, for sure. Now, that's that's most definitely because looking back at it, I'm like, damn, that's how I was getting it off? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And that's the thing. Better. Exactly. And so like if somebody had told me coming out of high school, you know what I mean? Or even middle school when I first was really starting to get into it, into masturbation and self-play and all erotica and like the wonderful world of kink and sexuality. If somebody had sat me down and said, hey, 
you know, masturbation is is the key. Like, it's okay to play with yourself. It's nothing wrong with it. It's not nasty. You know what I mean? I -hmm. probably would have been way more advanced earlier on sexually than I am now. But that's, but I think that's why it's almost like you have to have balance because I did mm-hmm. start off masturbating very early. I mean, your girl was looking to be once I found it. I was like, oh, hold up. Right, right. <laughs> this is where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> so, so I started early, but now I'm a very high, I don't want to say hypersexual because I don't want to mm-hmm. place that label on me, but I am the, I, I shit. <laughs> As I said, you I have a high it. libido. Yes, Lord. That thing is ready. Yes, <laughs> just like and, telling y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just, it's different because it's like, now I'm learning different things or whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, it's like, even though I uh, wasn't, wasn't, even though I was down for some shit, mm-hmm. now I know that even though I may have been down, I wouldn't have known what to do with it. Right. That thing. Whereas exactly. now I'm like, oh, snap. You're I a little more educated. Thing. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> and that's exactly it. That's exactly my point. But you know, you wouldn't have reached that point had you not explored your own sexuality with you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You I got there sure. because you took time to say, "Oh, I'm going to find this pleasure spot." You know, and now that I've reached it, now that I've had, you know, a partner that I've helped reach it, and now that I've done that, I can move on to something else, or I can build upon it because it's just like a house. If solo sex is your foundation, you build up from that. You know, you keep yeah. going, you add to it, you know, you try Ooh. new things. So that's 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 what it's all about. Now I do have a question for you, another one. Uh-huh. Wait, is there ever is there such thing as too much masturbation? Because what if solo play becomes the only play that you're really into? Dum dum dum. So okay, I haven't I, I have encountered a client who has actually they could not they could not come unless it was induced by themselves like it had to be like i st- i have to initiate my own nut basically even if it's partnered they had to stop and ha- actually initiate their own nut and i i don't think nothing's wrong with that if unless the couple sees something wrong with that as long as you're still getting pleasure out of it you know, you're still, you know what I mean? That's still the objective. It's pleasure. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> I feel like that's a finisher. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and and it's funny because I actually thought about this and looked into this a while ago and I need to pull that research back up. But I do remember that although, like, okay, me as a woman, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't came all on, all on you. You know what I'm saying? No matter what it is, I didn't came on it. <laughs> right. The old times. Let's say I'm having sex with the with the uh, man or whatever. I he I'm expecting that ejaculation at the end, right? Like, like that's again, that's the finishing move. Is it's ta da? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that's it. Mm-hmm. If I don't have it to laugh, then you did feel I not, did I like not, you didn't do it a good exactly, job. Exactly. Did I not fulfill my shit? Like, but see, that's, not that's enjoy the experience. However, what I learned was that mm-hmm. that's more of a me thing and not a him thing. Because I right. need him to come out loud, quote unquote, if that's mm-hmm. the best way to put it. I need I need to see that you enjoyed this. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to say, that was a great experience. No, 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 nigga, where's the nut? <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? Yes. But I think that's why I stick with women. Well, you know, just speak, you know, man, I ain't talking, I'm talking about my shit. <laughs> yeah. Stick with women, I think that's on, that's why it's, it's kind of different because I don't need you to squirt. Like, I don't mm-hmm. need any out loud ejaculation. I feel you can your see body. it with the I body. Feel you tremble. Exactly. Yeah. I, yeah. Girl. So <laughs> you're. You so then name. that means you're more <laughs> in tune visually. Yeah. Oh yeah. But for sure. okay. So I'm more of a visual audio. Like I need. I need the noise. I need the the gush gush. I need the moan. Yes. Oh, so name. that means you're engaging all of your senses at once. So what Hell you're not yeah. realizing that you're doing is you're incorporating sight. You're incorporating sound. You're incorporating yep. touch. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. You're incorporating all of your five senses, which actually uh-huh. increases your orgasm That's like so by a million. And <laughs> to decrease one of your senses or to like eliminate one of your senses, like to cut off, to close your eyes or to cut off your sound, you're decreasing your orgasm's power by at least 20%. So mm. that is very key and that's very important and that's a very good point to bring up. 
But yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, if you're a visual person, and most men are, or penis owners, mm-hmm. shall I say, are visual learners. And that's why you often see, you know, they'll send us a dick pic, and we'd be like, yo, I didn't ask Hi. you for a picture. You just going to send me a picture? <laughs> and that's because they're visual learners. That's how they like to receive, you know, pleasure or... You know, that's how they spark conversation or that's how they, you know, initially receive that initial indicator that, oh, I'm getting aroused is because I see something that's arousing me. Sure. Yeah. So it, you once you get into it, you really start understanding the difference and like the anatomy of it and the biological breakdown of how we are aroused. It makes a lot more sense. Yep. But I, I will stand behind this 100% because May is masturbation month and it's... You know, I had to I had to do it for me. I had to do it for me because masturbation is like so big. Like even that's why I say even in relationships, never stop your solo play. Like hey, I like I like solo partner play. Is that what it's called? Yes. I don't fucking know. Mm-hmm. When you and your partner masturbate mm-hmm. each other, that shit is lit. I just oh. honey, honey, honey. It's Listen, like now through movie. that, through Solo partner play, I have helped my partner find exactly, when I say find exactly, find my G spot. And now I have to say nothing. And it's just like, oh, it's right here. That's dope. Because of that. And not only that, but solo play builds uh, self-confidence. Like, yeah. it, it makes you feel good about you. Wouldn't like you will be your own shit to your own toilet, okay? Mm-hmm. Like on. I'm so serious. It builds so much confidence and self. Because y'all are each other's pornos. Yeah, <laughs> man, I'm trying to nah, tell you. For real, it is though. It, it is. Dope. It is. I'm trying to tell you. Like I love masturbating so much. Like not not saying that I love it more than 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 actually engaging with someone else. Not at all. But I I will say I love it equally. Nice. I do. I mean, you gotta be into what you start playing, Manji. You That's really do. <laughs> yeah. Really when do. I say shout out to Cat Williams, yeah, because I promise you that goddamn Pam Chronicles. I feel like, especially oh. people on our yard, Juju. I think for realsies, for realsies, for realsies. That's our shit. Like yes. I know me and my niggas and, Hands me down. and everybody we fuck with. That Hands was our shit down. to the point where I think we really embodied that because we. Think about it, bro. Most of the people that we fuck with, they in tune when they start players. Because if you ain't, we don't fuck with them. We always get our laughs off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we and real you can watch it over and over, and it's still funny. And it's fun. Thinking about it is making me laugh, bro. I'm not even watching it. <laughs> right, but like that, the gems he dropped in that joint that we never yeah. even really realized until years later, and it's still to this day effective. I'm not gonna lie, I laughed at that thing so. Hard and so heavy, and some of the stuff that that he was joking about, mm-hmm. I didn't catch. Put it that way. I'm not gonna say I didn't. I didn't realize. But I didn't catch it. You should have let so, me be in your ear more, cause that was my shit. Yo, listen, I love <laughs> Cat Williams. Like he's still one of my favorite comedians. Like him, and Bernie Mac. Swear to God. Oh man, shout but, out to Bernie. I miss him like he was the uncle that used to come to the cookouts and shit. Right? Like I ain't never meet Bernie, but I swear to God, every time somebody ring him up, my heart hurt. I'd be like, yeah, right? I like I that was one yeah, celebrity I death I definitely felt. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> you know, but not to get off topic, not to get off topic. Oh, my bad, my bad. I'll, my I'll bad, go my into bad. Bernie Mac for days, <laughs> for ages. He was oh, my all time favorite. But I do want to mention that I because I've I've encountered a lot of women who don't masturbate. They look at solo play as like, it's nasty. Then you have some women. Yeah, like I have encountered so many women lately that say they do not masturbate. And I just want to let y'all know right here, right now, please do it. You are depriving yourself of so much pleasure by not masturbating. Like it is the greatest thing ever. I'm trying to tell you. It is not, do you, you don't do it because you're lonely. <laughs> you don't just do it because you ain't got nobody else. Like, no, I enjoy masturbating every day with just me. No other reason. Okay? Bro, For the I don't drink only objective of pleasure. I get a nut. <laughs> okay? Literally. Like, I, I mean, why nut. not do it? The only end result is pleasure. <sighs> like, for real. Oh, okay. I have a personal question. Ha ha. I'm going to ask it. No. Are you more of a... <laughs> uh, are you more clitoral stimulation type person who can come up with just clitoral or do you need penetration as well? 
to come. For solo play, I'm I'm mostly clitoral. Nice. For solo nice. play, Thank I'm you. mostly clitoral, Thank and that's I, I don't I don't know why. Like that's just that's just my thing to be honest. Like I'm more my orgasms are more G spot ish when it's penetration. Now, it, like I'll say a combination. Like I told y'all on previous episodes, like a combination is always with penetration. But with solo play, it's mostly clitoral. Okay, thank mostly. you. And I feel like a lot of people are. But I was curious because, like, again, I think solo play, I'm more clitoral. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely. Like, you know what I'm saying? DJ, mm-hmm. you me? You know what I mean? But, um, <laughs> Listen, it, 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 gets, it gets a little wet, but hey. Play your own risk, yeah, okay? Tripping. But nah, but for real. Um, okay, I was just curious. Ha ha. I just wanted to know. Yeah, no, no, no. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Now, I, I mean, I have, I do sometimes include or incorporate penetration. Like, I can make myself squirt and things like that, but it's not like an everyday. Like, mostly every day is definitely clitoral. Like, the only, only time I'm really like penetrating myself, mm-hmm. if you will, is if I'm like, just, <laughs> I'll just say if I'm in my bag, that's okay. it. That's just okay. me. I'm just, yeah, I'm wanting to put on a show type shit. <laughs> like, yes. That's it. Now, see, I'm, I'm, I'm so weird. I got to. Listen, I, just, I got to. Yeah, uh, okay, no, I, I used to be. In the mirror. Come on now. Okay. I okay. had to get to that point because you, okay, you know how you don't notice that something's good because you don't talk about it or you don't hear about it? So you don't know it's good until you start talking about it, then you realize it's good. That's kind of how that was with that's how I was with that put on a show type feeling. So like I never thought that I was like good enough to put on a show, <laughs> if you Aww. will. I'm no, I'm dead as like serious. Like, no, I feel it, like it, I'm it took me some some time to get over certain things in my sexual life to get to the point I'm at now. And you know, it took healing. And so I'm not even going to lie, like, to get to the point where I even would perform, if you speak, or if you will, say, for lack of better words, just for somebody else. Like, even as far as masturbating in front of somebody else, I would not do that for a very long time. So to reach that point, like, yo, it feels amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, I love it. I do it all the time now. You can't tell me, put the camera down. Come on now. Like, I like putting on the show and being Mm -hmm. dominant with it. Like, I yes. think, because like I said, I'm a switch. I know I've mentioned that before, but that, mm-hmm. if I'm putting on the show, that's when my dominant side comes out. That's when it's like, nah, I do this. Yes. Oh, my God. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, that's, we're going to get into that, okay? Wow. That is coming on an upcoming that. season, all right? <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> upcoming season. So, we can't get into that on this show today. But I do want to leave you guys with a tidbit because I do see a lot of people talking about when they're first experimenting with different lubes and how to experiment with different oils or different sex-based products that go on your skin. So again, always try them on yourself first. And that still applies when you're using lubes, oils, sprays, creams, anything. What you can do because your vulva is the same texture as your lip or as your mouth. So what you do is take a dab of whatever you're new to using and put it on the corner of a lip. Up top lip, not bottom lip, on your face. Okay? And put it on the, the corner of a lip and it will tell you or let you know if you're allergic or not. Because if that piece of your lip breaks out, then you know not to go down below with it. Okay? Lip breakout, that's a no-no. If your lip don't break out, go-go. Okay? <laughs> All right. Not go-go. Really? I'm, trying to, I'm trying to help the people out because I really mean try try before you buy. And that means try it on you before you test it out on somebody else. I stand Ooh, behind that. The no-no, though. I mean, the go-go. Can we talk no-no about and the one? go-go? Listen. Yeah. I'm done with break you. Break out, that's a no-no. No bump. Go go. <laughs> Whatever, little bobo. I'm just saying, gotta you know, gotta let the people know. <laughs> I'm done, bro. but you I'm know. You. I mean, I guess you know. Oh, I gotta, I gotta wrap up today with my new. I remember today, y'all, because y'all know I said I was going to try out my new technique when I'm wrapping up, 
And I was going to say, you know, I'm, I'm going to say it today because I've been missing out and I done missed it out on two episodes. I still missed it. But I'm, I remember the day. So we're going to say it today, okay? Say it. <laughs> so until <laughs> next time, y'all, stay boobiful. <laughs> 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I hate you, yo. <laughs> don't do me. I don't give a fuck. Hey, say it again so I can make sure I heard it right. Cause... Yes. I said, okay, no, listen. You gotta listen. You gotta listen. Until <laughs> next time, stay boobiful. Ow. Boobiful. Boobiful. Yeah, I get it. Boobiful. That shit dope. <laughs> Boobiful. <laughs> you are boobiful. I can't say you, yo. <laughs> just bye. Just bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man.